Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Project YouTube channel. Today I'm back with another video in England. have just qualified for their first final of a European Cup competition uh, after beating Denmark 2-1 after extra time. Uh, but in my humble opinion, I do think Denmark were robbed here today. Um, it, was, it was a weird game to watch. Denmark started off great. Amazing free kick by Damsgaard. And uh, nine minutes later, England equalised. Great cross in by Bukayo Saka and an on goal by uh, Kja. And uh, after that, it was 1 0 at half time. Second half starts. England were the better side in the second half, and they were the better side in every single half other than the first half. The second half, England dominated. Uh, but couldn't find a goal, didn't create really any amazing chances in that second half. They did have a shout for a penalty which wasn't given. Uh, I don't think it was a penalty, I think uh, there was a foul before the penalty that, that uh, the ref had already blew for. Uh, so that's why I think that first penalty was not given for England. But going into the extra time, and this is where things started to get a little bit... A little bit uh, shaky for Denmark. They they didn't really create anything. They were they were pinned back by England. Even though England did not create any any good chances in my opinion, they just dominated the ball and pushed Denmark into their own half and totally dominated the possession. They had some shots, nothing spectacular as I've said, uh, but they were the better side at extra time. But that penalty that was given is. Is mind-boggling to me. Uh, like, first of all, there were two balls on the pitch. Uh, on that side of the pitch, there was a second ball that came into the into the pitch. So, at any time that two balls are on the pitch, uh, the ref should stop the game. It's a rule of the it's a rule of the game. Second of all, it was never a penalty. There was never a touch. Sterling dived. Um, I just don't understand how you make that decision in a semi-final of a European Cup. It's it's a disgraceful refereeing performance. Again, we've seen quite a lot of them um, at the Euros, not as much as we've seen in the Premier League. But at this level, when the when Denmark have fought and fought and fought throughout this competition to try and get into the final and trying to get the game to to penalties which is not easy against a great side like England for the game to be to be concluded by a penalty that was never a penalty is is not it doesn't leave a nice feeling uh, anyway Harry Kane missed the penalty as well after all that Harry Kane missed the penalty and scores the rebound after uh, Kasper Schmeichel fails to block the shot uh, but Kasper Schmeichel was immense he had a great game uh, Hall of Denmark really were quite good. They were not as good uh, as we've seen them on some previous games. Uh, but you have to say that they have, they are tired. They've played a lot of games. they played extra time. Um, a lot, a lot of games. And they've been through a lot as well. Let's not forget what they've been through at the first game of the Euros with Christian Eriksen. But this Danish side should be very proud of what they've achieved in this Euros. And... Um, in my opinion, they were robbed of a chance of going to the final at, uh, after a penalty shootout. Because if if there's no penalty, I don't think England score in the at extra time, and it goes to penalties. And at penalties, it's a fifty-fifty chance. But now let's talk about England a little bit. Uh, Sterling again, best player for England. Um, Kane non-existent. Mount was not impressive. Saka, even though he got that assist for the first goal really didn't do anything else but I do get why Saka started for England today it's because Miley for Denmark the left wing back is so good that uh, Southgate was scared to put a player like Sancho there because he wanted to have at least uh, someone to look after Miley. Uh, Walker was another man of the match candidate for me Amazing performance, best defensive player for England today. Um, the midfield was amazing. Calvin Phillips and Rice have had better games in this tournament. And um, the wing backs, both Shaw and Walker, were, were great. Maguire was good. 
Sterling was world class. Uh, and he is the reason why England are going this far into the competition. He's been involved in almost every single goal that he scored. Uh, he won the penalty even though it was not a penalty. He was smart enough to dive in, uh, make the referee make a, a decision there. It's not his fault that uh, the ref gave it a penalty. I'm not taking any credit away from Sterling. Uh, he did the right thing uh, for his country, for his team. Um, but the referee was a disgrace. Uh, also, another disgrace, Gareth Southgate again. I, I just don't understand this guy. I really don't. You bring on Grealish in the, um, in the 70th minute and you take him off, like, uh, right at the start of the second half of extra time. Like, that must really destroy Grealish mentally. Like, why not take someone, somebody else off at that stage? Denmark were already done at that point. They were not coming back. You had to play five at the back. I get it. Just take someone else off. Why take Grealish off? Take a, you could either take Sterling off, Kane off, someone, somebody else. Grealish just came on. He hadn't played a lot of minutes, and that must destroy his confidence. And uh, it's this thing that really aggravates me with this England side, because they do have the talent. They do have the talent to go all the way. And with a different manager, this would have been such an easy journey for them into the final. Because if we're comparing 11s here, Denmark should not have been a competition for England. If, if England went attacking from the start of the game and tried to force uh, Denmark into their own half from the start of the game, England would have dominated this game and they would have gone easily through and I would have given them more chances in a final against a side like Italy. But with the way that they're playing every single game, except that Ukraine game, who, which whether they were incredible in that Ukraine game, uh, every single other game other than that Ukraine game, they've been defensive, they've been toothless, they've not created uh, great chances, and I don't think they will be able to win this competition. Uh, I don't think they beat Italy, even though they do play at Wembley, and Wembley was buzzing again today I just don't see how this boring style of football this so scared of the opponent that you don't bring out your own qualities in players like Rashford Sancho uh, Grealish so many elite level players not getting a shout in this England side and it's very very frustrating to watch as a neutral I know I might not sound as a neutral because I bash England a lot in this video but I really do enjoy some of their players. I love English football and it's just sad not seeing the best of English football being uh, produced by England. But still, it is a huge achievement going to the final, even though it was a bit of a, it was a, bit of a robbery today, let's just be honest. And we'll have to wait and see for the final. If, if they beat Italy, fair play, they deserve to win. Uh, but I am expecting Italy to win it. Uh, I'll be back for more videos, I'll be back for a preview, I am expecting some hate in this video from all the English fans, but try to think of it as a neutral a little bit, I know it's exciting for you guys, I know it's so exciting that England are doing so well and are in the final for the first time in their history, but try to think of it a little bit more uh, from a neutral side. So guys, don't forget to drop the video a like, also subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you guys on the next one, goodbye.